when you walk off of that plane and you get that first whiff, like a smell of spice. Just hot, dry. That sand would go from burning you on your feet to, you know, freezing, you know, a matter of minutes. So I arrived in Iraq in 2003. We were there for six months. The bond you create in there is just, it's surreal. You know, no matter what happens, that person is gonna be there for you. You can't compare it to anything, you know. Um, well, they say the bond in crisis can't be broken. It definitely changes you, you know, definitely changes you. The Marine Corps was my identity. So when I discharged, I was lost. I tried to figure out for a year or two what I was supposed to do, who I was supposed to be, and uh, it was hard. I didn't have my brotherhood. First time I went to a grocery store and we got back, I just couldn't do it. There's too many people. Just flipped out. Ready to give up, but I mean, the IBW, they, they showed me that there is another brotherhood out there. To be able to create something for somebody else, it, it's, it's awesome. To know that you put your heart and soul into something, because without electricians, there wouldn't be anything. You know, there wouldn't be lights, there wouldn't be this. You know, you'd have, you'd have chaos, you know? Yeah, a carpenter can build a house. You know, iron workers can build structures. But without electricians, you're not getting electricity. You're not putting the lights in. You could compare it to the Marine Corps all day long. So that's how the IBW helped me to, you know, really put my life back together, really. The Brotherhood is just like in the military. You know, these guys, if you got a problem, they'll take care of you. That's what this brotherhood is about. Knowing that I had another set of brothers, another set of sisters that would have my back. He's not scared of going out, push, come on guys, let's go. And they follow him. And that's an investment I think that we truly, in our union, really need. Those are the ideal employees that come across a problem and an issue that doesn't actually have the answer right in front of them, able to analyze it, overcome it, fix it, and move forward. I know Richard very well, and uh, you know his family I've known for years. He is this burly type of man, um, but he has a big heart. <laughs> He's very nurturing. He tries to give his kids everything tries to make sure they're going the right way. My son didn't have his father in his life, and so he kind of took on that, kind of that responsibility that he wanted to be there for my son and just guide him, trying to get him into the trade. It's provided everything I've ever needed. You know, it's just like anything, though. You get what you put in. You put in a little bit, you ain't gonna get, you know, you get a little bit out. You put in your heart, you're gonna get somebody else's heart back. My name is Richard Saldana. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran, and I'm an IBW Local 428 member. <laughs>